Um, a tough loss at Perth last Saturday. Um, how have the players reacted over the weekend? How have you prepared for tomorrow's game at Easter Road? Yeah, we're, we're a bit like disappointed with our, our overall performance last Saturday and disappointed. Um, it's been three losses on the bounce for us, um, but the players have come back in. Um, and, and worked very, very well. I mean, I, I still believe that they're recovering. I thought last Saturday um, we looked tired. Um, I thought, you know, there was a few key factors for us. We looked lethargic, we didn't pass the ball well. And when you give possession away like that um, and surrender as cheaply at this level, you're, you're certainly put under pressure and you were punished for those mistakes again. Yep. Um... You reintroduced Stefan Bohoken last week, yep. um, and obviously you've seen Greg, Greg Wilde. Um, what will they bring to the squad going forward? Yeah, I mean, we've got big Stefan back, um, Finis, and um, you know, he, he can certainly take some of the burden off, uh, off Stevie Thompson. Um, I thought he looked lively last Saturday when he came on. He's a young cub kid that's come for a bigger club, you know. Uh, and he scored goals in France, you know, for the under 21s. He scored goals for, for Nice. Yeah, and I think when he first arrived here in August, it was a big culture shock for him. Um, so it was, and, and perhaps to a certain degree, threw in the towel um, and, and wanted back home. But, you know, he's had some harsh words for his, his father and his, his, his club in Nice and ourselves. And he's taken a good look at himself, he's taken the words on board. and. The, the the experience that he had from, from last season and he's came back with a grip between his teeth and I respect that. Um and I certainly believe that there's there's goals, there's 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 things in Stefan that he'll bring quality to to this group and as I say the biggest thing is that he can help take that burden off Stevie Thompson. Yeah. Um and within the rest of the, the transfer window are you expecting anyone else in or out or yeah, but I mean, we're always actively looking. Um, we've extended the loans of Marion Kello, as you say, um, Marion Kello and Connor Newton to the end of the season, and who are key elements of our team. Um, we've brought the Adam Campbell in, you know, to add a bit of pace up front and chip in with a few goals. He's young, he's got a lot to learn, um, but he's shown enough to feature in the Newcastle first team, and the assets in his game will be assets from, for us for now to the end of the season. Um, delighted to bring Greg in, Greg Wild, uh, for Aberdeen. We need more pace and width in the team, and we've been missing Gary Teal for most of the season. And Greg has won silverware, you know, twice in Scotland. He's been proven here, played for his country at numerous levels, and um, you know he's played in Europe. And he's only 22, you know, so a lot of development still in him. And the last two years probably haven't uh, worked out the way we'd have hoped so, uh, hoped for. So. You know, in some respects, he's a man on a mission eh, and a lot to prove, and we feel we can give him the right platform to get his career moving very, very quickly again. Yeah. Um, what, what about injuries? Um, how does that, that currently stand? Gary Teal's making, making progress, he's running. Um, had to come off it a little bit this week. David Barn making slight progression. We had a bit of a blow yesterday with Stephen Bohacken, pulled up with a thigh strain, so that, that's a a bit of a blow for us, but we're still actively looking at this in this window. We're working very hard. We've we've still got one or two players um, in mind that we want. Um, and it'd be inappropriate to mention names as you're never guaranteed anything. We know the areas in what we want to cover, um, but once again, I'll, I'll no name not name name. I don't want to rock the boat too much. Hibs at Easter Road tomorrow. Um, how's imp how important is it to get a positive result? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, we're, we're all hurting for the last three results. Um, and certainly um, for the for the Hearts game, the Kilmarnock game and the, the first half against Celtic, you know, we would like to have had more rewards for our, for our efforts here. Um, but, you know, it's going to be a difficult challenge for us. Terry and Wolf came in and made a number of changes to the, hib, the way Hibs play. Um, in the first phase, we stamped their impression on the Hibs team making them difficult to beat, and I've certainly done that, um, and they've been successful with that. Uh, you know, and I think they fact speak for themselves. They've got five clean sheets and only two losses in ten games, and they're unbeaten at home since Terry and Moe took over, so it's never an easy place to go and pick up points, but we've done it before, uh, and we look to go and do it again. Yeah, and just finally, Danny, have you got a message for the Swim fans? Yeah, I, I, know, I know they're keen in this January window, and, you know, I, I understand that they're probably looking at the same key areas as ourselves. Um, 
and I'd ask them to be a little bit patient, you know, it does get a little bit, um, the pace picks up a little bit nearer the last week, week of that. Um, we have been unfortunate, you know, throughout the course since the Dundee United game, we've never been able to get that starting 11 back out through suspension and injuries, although um, I'm delighted to say that we, we seem to be over the, the, suspens uh, the suspension, so there seems to be a wee bit of light at the end of the tunnel there for us, but I don't want to speak too much uh, too lightly because that, that light could be a train coming. Yeah. <laughs>